Welcome to the part 2 of our decision analysis tutorial. In part 1, we have covered decision making under certainty and decision making under uncertainty. So let's start with decision making under risk. What is decision making under risk? It is where there are several possible outcomes for each alternative and the decision maker knows the probability of occurrence for each of the outcome. It is quite the opposite of decision making under uncertainty where the, pro the, the decision maker does not know the probability of occurrence for each of the outcome. So here are the three different computations for decision making under risk. First, expected monetary value or the base uh, computation or the base value. Then we have the expected value with perfect information and expected value of perfect information. So we will go through each one of them. With our problem, remember with Bob the Builder, where Bob has three different alternative solutions, either a shopping mall, build a school, or build houses. With his state of nature, where the material cost either increases or stable at a certain period of time. And lastly, with our payoff table, or the consequences. So here for decision making under risk, we add the probability written above for increase. There is a probability of increase of material cost of 60% and a probability that the material cost would be stable for 40%. Expected monetary value is the long run average value of a decision or the bait So what is expected monetary value? Expected monetary value is the long run average value of a decision and it is based on history or the base probability or the posterior probability. So how do we solve for this one? First, we have to multiply probabilities to each of the payoff. Thus, we do it like this. Multiply $70,000 times 0.60 and then $30,000 times 0.40 for the shopping mall and then we do the same for the rest of the different choices then you sum the payoff per alternative thus for the shopping mall it will be for fifty-four thousand dollars for school it will be seventy one thousand dollars and forty forty thousand dollars for building houses and then lastly we choose the alternative with the biggest payoff and obviously that's to build a school which is seventy one thousand dollars so the expected monetary value for this particular problem is $71,000. And then secondly, we have expected value with perfect information. So what is it? It is the expected or the average return if we have the perfect information. What does that mean? It means that if we know all of the payoffs and we know all of the probabilities, obviously, we, we should choose which one is the best. So how do we choose for the EVWPI? First, we choose the biggest payoff for every state of nature, so that's $105,000 and $40,000 for both increase and for stable. And then, we multiply the, each of the probabilities for each one of them, so that's 60, 0.60 times $105,000 plus $40,000 times 0.40. So we sum them up. So the expected value with perfect information or if we know the perfect information would be $79,000. And then lastly, we have to solve for the expected value of perfect information. So this is the price difference between knowing uh, the information or the perfect information and our monetary value. So it's the price where one is willing to pay in order to gain access to perfect information. So we do this with this particular formula. EVPI or the expected value with perfect information is equal to EVWPI minus EMV. So that's $79,000 minus $71,000. So one is willing to pay $8,000 in order to gain access to additional information. So that is our decision making under risk. And these are our summary table. This is our summary table for the computation for each one of them. And then lastly, we have decision making under competition. But here, we actually, it is actually based on game theory. 
and game theory or the in introduction to game theory will be given in another video. So stay tuned for that one. So thank you very much and this is the decision analysis tutorial part 1 and part 2 and this is Bonkly for Zero and thank you for listening.